a video of a woman preacher being confronted by market leader for dressing like a Muslim but also saying things associated with Yoruba deity Ubatala has made the rounds on social media. In the video, one of the market leaders accosted the preaching lady and asked her to disclose who she was because she was preaching as a Muslim and at the same time mentioning Ubatala, a Yoruba deity. The market leader became angry at the lady after she failed to give a convincing answer about who she was. One of the market men pulled the veil she used to cover her face. The market leader went on to ask the Muslims in the market if it is allowed for one to be preaching Islam and at the same time mentioning Ubatala. When the preaching lady failed to give a convincing response, she dragged her by her cloth and said, they were heading to meet those who worship Ubatala so they can tell her if it is allowed to miss both religions. My viewers, at home, was your response to this? What was your reactions, your opinions to this? As woman confronted, as woman confronted and almost stripped inside a market for dressing up as a Muslim but also saying things associated with a traditional deity Ubatala. I come again with this place. What's your reaction to this? As a woman uh, was confronted and almost stripped inside a market for dressing up as a Muslim, but also saying things associated with a traditional deity Ubatala. Okay? And uh, let's look at uh, the comment section to see what we have in the comment section. Stay tuned, please. Hadiza Umaru here says they're a very confused and useless tribe. That's why we not a Muslim don't take them serious. And according to Hadiza Umaru. Okay? Mr. Man uh, replied to Hadiza Umaru saying, uh, seriously, are you insulting a whole tribe for actions of one? Say seriously, are you insulting a whole tribe for actions of one? Then uh, Mr. Man replied to Hadiza saying, uh, And you not a Muslim exposing your hair to the public. Okay. Then uh, guest here says, uh, To hell with modern Muslims bundle of hypocrites. How much do you know of the Muslim religion? Okay. Guest here uh, says, uh, reply to. Okay. Guest here reply to his. Uh, his uh, own comment saying, uh, To hell with Northern Muslims. To hell with Northern Muslims. Olu Michael here says, uh, Northern cow. Shizi says, You see your life now. Your understanding their language. You see your life now. You're understanding your their language. Okay. All right. Moving forward now. A can name here. A can name uh, says uh, you are an idiot, uncivilized, un and uninformed. Have you not heard of interfaith dialogue and the Abra Abrahamic Institute for Interfaith? relations okay i come again with this please and this is from a saying that uh, uh, you are an idiot uncivilized and uninformed have you not heard of interfaith dialogue and the abrahamic institute for interfaith relations plus two to read the rest of star star says that uh, mumu they talk waiting you know inside islam mumu they talk waiting you know inside islam Plus two three the rest of stars that says uh, not an, no Islam religion reach Yoruba. Go ask your forefather. Okay. This person made some blunders. Let's continue, please. Augustina Onwenu here says that uh, Yorubas una don't hear say una they useless. Fact our people like throwing tantrums at others. 
Okay, add the yang you say the Yoruba Rolu, Yoruba Rolu, okay? That must be Yoruba. Uh, Clarence Penn says the uh, repl uh, reply to Augustina on when you say, uh, Now your forefathers they useless, not we Yorubas. Then Emma Toski also did a uh, commented. Let's see what Emma Toski has to say here. According to Emma Toski, he says, uh, Religiously, they are useless to them, but politically, they are useful to help curtail their nemesis, the Igbos. Okay. And here, he says, the Igbos, that is, is, that, that is a caption, okay? You know that when the comment is from the Igbos, Say religiously they are useless to them, but politically they are useful to help curtail their nemesis. Okay. Then also to a uh, guest here says uh, also drop a reply saying an uh, ignorant man on social media what is meaning of surutai, surutai. Okay. All right. I'll still take more rations. Uh, stay tuned, please. And then uh, this is uh, from uh, okay. Uh, the, the also, someone commented here saying, uh, "I'm sure that she's doing rituals. Yorubas and evil spirits are one. God bless godly Yorubas, especially my blood relatives among them." Augustina Odwenu uh, here uh, did reply saying, uh, Yes, man, Yorubas worship demon deity. Johnson Wiltas at gmail.com says, uh, Foolish people everywhere. Foolish people everywhere. Plus, two three did reply to uh, Johnson saying, uh, He they pay you, he better than your tribe, Yoruba man. Okay, the solution says uh, why should they harass her because she dressed up as a Muslim. Yoruba Christians are becoming in, in, intolerable, intolerable. Okay, I come again with this please. The solution says uh, why should they harass her because she dressed up as a Muslim. Yoruba Christians are becoming intolerable of Muslims. It showed clearly in the way they opposed Tinibu. What a bunch of losers. Okay. A reply to the solutions here from XX says a fool Muslims are the ones confronting her cause she dressed like them. And this is all can take for now. Thanks and God bless. Ensure you subscribe to our channel, spread the report and bye for now. Please thanks so much. Okay.